Hey guys, this is Zach with Dream Media Home Theater. I've had a lot of requests uh, for TV mounting um, how-tos and I've seen some horrible ones on YouTube. So I just wanted to point out today some of the equipment that is needed in order to get this done. Um, if you look down here, uh, the first tool that is absolutely crucial, even if you're not concealing the wiring, it's just gonna be a hammer drill. Um, and you can see I got our bit on there, uh, ready to rock and roll. And then we got the Klein Tools um, outlet tester. This is really nice, so you're not just hollering you know, back and forth, you know, if you got the right breaker, this will actually tell you exactly which one um, uh, it leads to, so that you can just plug this in and uh, into the outlet, and then this end uh, at the breaker panel. And then I got um, a couple electrical uh, strippers and uh, crimpers uh, for doing my outlet a level and tape measure, a template for cutting a single gang hole, as well as my uh, little drill, which I have a Phillips and a flathead for, hacksaw, manual and automatic, and then stud finder. And then over here, this is what we need to complete this install. We have 15 foot HDMI cables, uh, 4K ready, retro rings for the low voltage uh, wires to pass through the wall, and then our electrical outlet, a tilt mount, and row mats. So the equipment's gonna sit up here on top of the console. Customer has a spectrum box. And if you notice, there's no outlet down here below, but um, we didn't want to do a power bridge kit to where there's like wires running across the wall. Um, we didn't want to do any, any rigged wiring. So we actually found an outlet on the other side of the wall that lines up close enough that we're going to tap off of and then run the wire up. We're going to have an outlet here as well as um, our pass box here for the HDMIs and then we'll cut another one down here below. Um, I'll update you as we uh, complete the work. Thanks for watching. All right, so Grayson just got the mount out of the box and we're gonna put the arms on the back of the TV. And then next we're gonna mount the uh, bracket into the studs on the wall, 16 inch stud placement. Um, and I'm about to go test this outlet. All right, so this is the other side of the wall where I was telling you we had this outlet. I'm just gonna take my tester, plug it in, and then I'm gonna go to the uh, this very inexpensive tool has saved me so much time over the years going back and forth you can literally just run it right along the panel and when it beeps like that you know you have the correct um, the correct um, breaker. So now if you run it along there, you get nothing. And this one actually was labeled properly, but you'll find in older homes, that's not the case. So now our power is dead and we can pull that outlet out without having to worry about getting shocked. Okay, so Grayson's checking for studs right now. You can see we have a stud right there, uh, which is right in the center of the room. It's really marked out where the customer wants it and then one way over here. Um, now, in certain situations like this, and then there, there's the other stud right there, uh, but in certain situations like this where the bracket, if you can show them, uh, doesn't actually line up to hit all of the studs, um, we're only gonna be able to hit the one right in the middle. Um, we always provide 100 pound drywall anchors. So our um, standard that we go by is one stud, we put in 100 pound drywall anchors on the sides, or we hit two studs minimum. So we'll uh, go ahead and get this thing mounted to the wall. Um. So after you got your first stud in there, or your first lag into your stud, you're gonna check for level. And once it's level, you're gonna trace out the two sides so you know where you need to drill into. Doesn't hurt to get a little pilot hole started. 
and then your anchor will go in, which these go in and they actually spread open like that. So it's super secure. Probably the best, one of the best drywall anchors you can get. It supports 100 pounds each. And then uh, we're going to screw in our screws into the drywall anchors. Get them opened up. And check for level. Good. Good. Perfect. And then this one. And then make sure to tighten up that lag in the middle. Now with 200 pound anchors and the lag, we can sleep easy at night knowing that there's no way that this bracket can come off the wall unless King Kong came in here and ripped this wall down himself. Yep. All right, so the next step is going to be um, installing or cutting our holes up top for our power outlet as well as our low voltage wiring to pass through. So that's two single gang holes. You can take your little template, get it marked out. Make sure you don't go too close together uh, because then uh, whenever you cut the sheetrock, sometimes you can break the sheetrock in between. Give yourself at least a couple inches. catch all your debris I just so uh, you don't have to vacuum it up later Perfect. And then once you got your two holes cut, we're going to take um, our Romax and our two HDMIs and run them down through the wall, which you can see I already have the fish rod in there. So we're just going to uh, grab it out of the wall and then attach our lines. 